New tonight, the man accused of kidnapping his estranged wife is now charged with attempted murder. And tonight, we are hearing the terrifying story directly from Elisa Summers. Avery Cotton is live for us in Hillsborough County. And Avery, you spoke to Elisa today. How's she doing? Good evening, Jen. She was all smiles today. Honestly, just thankful that she is alive. She told me that there are times she was certain she was about to die. A love story gone completely wrong. He that I'm in the love of his life and he could not live without me. So he took her. Elisa and Trevor Summers were married for almost 16 years. They separated in October. Since I left him though, um, there was, it started, it escalated and escalated and escalated until it got to this. Saturday, Elisa says Trevor broke into her home. I woke up to a dark figure in my room. And kidnapped her. At one point, she was spotted in a Walgreens parking lot fighting for freedom. I knew that I, this, I, might, I, I need to try to get away. I need to try to get out of the situation. She says Trevor pushed her back into the car, kept her hands bound behind her back, and drove her to different remote wooded locations. Did he ever threaten to kill you? Yes, and he um, and he he did come close to killing me. There were several things that he did, including slitting her wrist with a razor blade. But she's a woman of immense faith. Their prayers, their prayers kept me going. And just as it appeared all hope was lost, someone Elisa actually knew spotted her car and called 911. Authorities found the couple at this house in Ruskin, and Elisa was finally free. I have a second chance at life, and I'm I'm so grateful. Meanwhile, Trevor Summers is booked here at the Orient Road Jail. He faces several charges, including kidnapping and the newest charge, a charge attempted murder. Jen? And we really can't lose sight of the fact that these folks have five children together. How are the kids doing tonight? You know, she tells me that they are all just thankful that their mother is okay. She says from here on forward, they're just going to have to take things one day at a time. Avery Cotton, live for us tonight. Thank you, Avery.